Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, Nev from Nev's Tech Bits here. Today I want to talk a little bit about NavMe. NavFree turned into NavMe, and uh, now it's NavMe. Let's check it out. I want to do a little review on this sucker. Tell you some of my thoughts. So I used to use this as a backup to NavFree. Use NavFree all the time. Use NavFree all the time, but I did switch to NavMe for a little bit. NavMe has a lot more information on it. I find... Like you can see uh, where the park is here. But one thing that I thought was a bit iffy... Is that you see... Other NavMe users. And uh, I don't particularly like that too much. For some people it's okay, apparently there is a way to turn it off, but I haven't managed to find it, and I have looked. So yeah, we can see uh, a NavMe user, and uh, I've actually taken time and followed people that I was watching on here with NavMe. It updates every 15 seconds I believe, maybe this guy's parked. But it doesn't exactly give any of your private information. It just says there is a NavMe user here. And it I don't think it shows you every NavMe user everywhere. Jeez, is that guy even on a road? Oh, and there he goes. Where is he? He's in the park, I guess. But yeah, you know what? Let's see... If we can find where we can disable that, so I'm a NavMe user search. Uh, upgrades. So preferences. So yeah, this is good for walking, of course. Or driving. Or biking, perhaps. This isn't a particular, particularly bad unit. It's definitely worth the money you pay for it. But I definitely don't like the fact that you can see other NavMe users. I wonder if I can track these guys. It's an interesting concept. I see it would be interesting to track your friends, but just random people? I don't know. I don't know. But the only problem I ever had with this is one time I was using Nav, uh, using NavMe in Toronto to find my way to sit kids. But before I did that, what I did is I installed Nav Free with the maps. And because of that, Nav Me maps wouldn't work. Or at least that's what I'm guessing happened. All I know is I couldn't use it. And uh, I was lucky I had my Apple on me. And uh, yep, yeah, that, one, that one worked. The work, uh, the work Apple worked. But let's take a look at what it looks like when you're driving around. Alright, so here we can see exactly what it looks like as we're uh, driving along. You'll notice I'm going a little bit over the speed limit and uh, that's why it has the posted limit just to the right. Uh, in Canada, yeah, as long as you don't go over 20 above the speed limit, generally the cops will leave you alone. Anyways, this is good stuff. This got me to uh, Ottawa and back. And... Uh, you might like it. You might even like it more than nav free. So I definitely suggest you check it out. Free offline GPS. Of course, uh, your GP your cell phone has uh, GPS on it that knows latitude, longitude, and area from sea level, but it doesn't necessarily know what the maps are. So you download these maps offline, and uh, away you go. As you can see, it works in real time. It's very nice. Very good stuff. Anyways, that's it from me, Nev from Nev's Tech Bits. Like and subscribe if you like this stuff. It always helps me out, and uh, have a good one.